Don't worry about your first class, second class. Don't worry about what you have in school. Worry mm. about learning a skill. Mm. Why I'm here today and enjoying the grace that I'm having is I did not carry my first class for head. I did not carry, oh, I am a computer science for head. I did not carry, I'm an ICT guru. No, I still carry myself after school and go to learn skills. I then I started training people, which means I first of all go and learn how to train people. I first of all go and learn how to you know, speak in the public. All these are also investment that I made for myself. Then now and I start teaching people. And under three years, I have taught about 10,860, maybe 80-something people. Hello, 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 hello again. You are welcome here like you always do. Thank you very much for always supporting this channel for always coming in to see what we have for every one of us, for the youth, for the adults, for the younger ones, for parents. Thank you very, very, very much for coming in again. You are highly welcome. Remember to always like, share, subscribe, and let's get the information out there regarding vocation, regarding so many topics we treat on our channel, on this channel. So, the main reason why we do this channel, why we have this channel is to inspire, to educate and inform the younger generation, the youths. So we make these videos so that the next generation can learn and not make the mistakes of the past uh, generation. So we also raise funds to help students struggling with paying up school fees or needing resources to start a business or even requiring training fees to learn a trade or vocation. So we do that through Elisha Debbie on our paper. I'll put the paper page on the screen for you. So today I have got a very wonderful person. I never knew I could ever meet him. When I'm listening to that program every morning, Breakfast Family, I'm like, oh, these people are so wonderful. They've got so much talent. They've got so much skills. They've got, I don't know, I, you, you need to go there. So I'll put that on the description right there. For you to check up the channel and you will see even when I, you're not in nigeria you are like connected to nigeria watching that program and i am bringing on the screen dr michael ada solomon and he is the ceo of Ad amada's technology limited he's going to tell us more about it he is the one and only head boy of bracket <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> how are you today yeah good thank you Honestly, before I go, you uh, uh, introducing myself, I want to say you are doing an amazing job. Oh, bless Trying you. to reach out, uh, try to see how you can also connect with us here and see how we can also support what you are doing. It's not easy. You know us now, when we don't see any opportunity, we'll go collect money, we'll just collect time for ourselves. Oh, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Your integrity has been speaking for you. We appreciate you. Of course, you know, before a person like me who wants to actually take this interview, I go down to my background check oh. for you. And and on all the places we've checked about you, you are just amazing. So thank oh, you for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You as, yeah. as a computer scientist, as a co-computer scientist, <laughs> my fellow computer scientist. <laughs> yes. Well, my, thank you, viewers. My name is Ados Michael, a.k.a. is the head boy of Brekete family. Uh, my full name is um, Ad Dr. Ados Michael Solomon. So thank you for having me on your show. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we'll go straight into it. And it's oh, about okay. introducing yourself fully. Like, who okay. are you? What do you do? Okay. okay. Uh, personally, I am an IT consultant. I have a company called Amados Technology Limited. Uh, our consultancy ship is based on related ICT services all around the world. If you're looking for anything ICT related, you want to actually develop an app, you want to develop a website, you want to create a custom, uh, maybe projects, maybe you want to also build an, a, a portal, anything ICT related, we train, we also deploy services, we also do networking, we are into also trainings, telecoms, if you also, all the telecom masks you see around, we also deploy that, we set it up, we maintain high-tech services and also trainings. 
there's a lot of things that we do that as long as it's on the confines of ICT, you can count on us. And of course, as an entrepreneur, by the way. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Um, you yes. do so much. You do so many things. And yes. um, now this takes me to my next question. Is it actually relevant for youths to learn a vocation regardless of their education status? That, that's because I know that you're well read and you're not in the state where you're submitting CVs around. What no, you're no, 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 no. Is actually creating, you've created a job. So yes. we want to ask how relevant is that in our current Nigeria situation, even around the world, not just Nigeria, because we want yeah. you to start thinking about the, being entrepreneurs, be creating jobs rather than looking for jobs. Looking so, what for do you job. think yeah. is relevant in this present day and age? No, seriously, I will tell you that um, the relevance for it is 101% need. Because why I say so is if anyone who wants to go into any skills, not really even ICT, you want to go to any skills as a vocational training that anybody is pushing and saying this is what we do, is good for every youth that we have nowadays to embrace that very particular uh, skills because the skills will help you even though the white collar jobs, of course, is not that you know easy to get, that training that you do, that training that you've learned, will be what will pave way for you. Nowadays, people like us are actually making money not just because of the school that I go to, because in school they will teach you more theory, 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 theory. It is the practical. After the school, we have to go to some uh, trainings, get to learn. Some of them are online trainings. Make sure you perfect what you know, your craft, and you can actually go out there to defend it. And that's trainings that I actually undergo is what is helping me now. And now I'm also training people. Now, why am I training people is because I've actually realized the benefits of that. Now, a lot of students come to me. I think over three years, I've trained over 10,868 or 69 students or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And all of them, I will tell you, 85% of them are doing okay. They are all bosses of themselves and they are doing very okay. And I can tell you because I have a mentorship group. After training them, it's not just letting them go. I also mm -hmm. mentor them, make sure that they are also strong until they stand on their own before I can let them go. And most of them are refusing to go, so they are there. And now they are also mentoring the new people that I'm also training, you know, mm. to come on board. So I will tell you that vocational training is helping a lot of people right now in Nigeria. I will tell you, training, 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 you see them everywhere. But every person that participates on any of those trainings have been doing okay. Because they can also feed their family. They can also make, you know, ends meet. And it's helping. Just come on one of the training that my colleague is doing uh, is into networking, is also into softwares. And these softwares that I'm talking about are softwares that people have already developed. He, does, already. he goes and get these softwares, save them or put them together and get people, train them on how to go and market these softwares for schools, for organizations, for business people. And this, every of the people he trains are making money every day. Because this software are just off the shelf. And if you go there, how much are they selling it? And you sell it for probably the software is barely, you see some of them are like maybe 120,000 era. But when you are selling it for a customer, you're selling it for like about 450,000. Mm -hmm. So you're making almost close to like about 300,000 era. And you're just what? From a vocational training. This yeah. is just how. So people are making money from it. And we encourage anybody who feels, I want to have a plan B. I also want to have a training. I also want the skills. Go look for any of the places that you can get. And I'm telling you, before you know what's happening, you don't you don't even need me now. I have mm. never, I mm. have never submitted C V. Wow. Not wow. because That's I actually impressive. came from the perfection. No. After schools, of course, I just went into business. Mm. And I felt maybe the business is not working. I actually have a furniture showroom. Uh I, I, it's in central area where they have Kefiano Motors. Upstairs is my furniture showroom. But it wasn't really picking up. It wasn't really mm. going on well. And I remember, bros, you'll be an IT person now. You know how this thing be. So mm. all you need to do is go to one other trainings and perfect your craft, perfect mm. your skills. I look for, I look, I located one uh, vocational training center. I went there and I perfected my ICT skills. And that, this is me now training people after so many years in the line. So wow. it's good. It's very good. I will encourage every person that will want to do so should do so. Wow, wow, that's so impressive. That's so impressive and inspiring yes. to hear that actually as an IT yes. person, because usually with an IT person, you're being 
pulled right, left, and center. Oh, come and work for us. Come and do this. And, you know, yeah. the next thing is, oh, I want to work in Shell. I want to work in the petrol yeah. and all of that. But you, yeah. you, you took it upon yourself to create jobs. Oh, that yes. is so impressive. I'm so inspired. I'm so inspired. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very um, much. So yeah. I want to be asked, what is your story? I know you've told us a bit about it. You never submitted a story <laughs> once. Yeah, I've never so done what that. Is your story? What is that inspiring story you want to share with someone who was in your shoes or who is currently in your shoes? Who is still, oh, I need to submit, I need to attend job interviews and all of that. What yeah. is your story that can inspire them to want to do, to be like you? Okay. Now, one thing about my story is, uh, well, I'm not from a family with the silver spoon, though. We started from nothing to where I am right now. But let's leave that aside. Now, after school, Whatness is always a big question that we ask after school. Whatness? Yeah, it's good for education. You need to go to school so that you can be, you know, intellect. But after school, whatness? Now, after school, I was struggling with what can I do? I need to submit CV. I need to get this job. But there's a pile of stories about those people who have, have tried to submit CV several times and nothing happened. And I was like, how can I be different? Mm -hmm. I said, okay, fine. You are an IT person. You know what to do about ICT and all that. So... Uh, on the process of thinking what next, what next, I thought of, okay, why not go into business? You know, instead of going to want to, you know, South person. Well, I'm not good in working, you know, when I say answering, sir, 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 I'm not good at it. From day one, I feel I'm a boss and I feel I have what it takes to be a boss. So I felt, okay, why not just go and see if you can start a business? So I venture into furniture business after going through the normal rudiments, training, get to understand what it takes to run a business under furniture. Uh, the, you know, meet a few people that are in the business already, went to them and they said, ah, you have to come and stay with us for, uh, let's say, one year so that you can understand how they make to go get furniture to do this. I did all that. So after one year, I travel out, go to Italy, also go to Turkey, got furniture, break them here, got an office in central area and everything was going smoothly. And until recession entered, bah! the uh, Castle Lacombe boss, the market, you know, went up because uh, the clients that I have at that time were senators, governors, all these big, big people because the cheapest furniture I have in my showroom was 4.5 million era. Uh, so it was now, it's not a business for an average Nigerian. It's not a business where somebody can just walk in and buy. So uh, that was a problem I have from the start. So I discovered that it was my problem. I did not sit down to look for a market that even an average person can patronize me. Even somebody that is just managing can patronize me. So I went straight to business where I will make big money. That was my bad. So, but now I am here. I was not thinking, what next? That was when I remembered, ah, ah, you're an ICT person now. So what is the problem? You can go and actually, you know, start making money with ICT. But nobody knows me. And I don't know how to go about it. And I felt, okay. Where will I start? Yeah, I've learned a lot from school and also that, but there's no life experience. There's no physical, I don't have that experience to go and say this do. So I said, okay, the best way is to go and get trained. So this mm -hmm. is how I actually located a, a, a vocational training center. I went there. I didn't even tell them I'm an ICT person. I didn't even tell them I read computer science or anything. I went there and I learned from start. So what is ICT and everything? And I get through the processes and I understand that. So now I have learned more. Mm. practically, it's not for me to go out there to see how I can start making money. But I discovered mm. that is that will not really help me because nobody knows me. So going out there to just say, hey, I can render these services for you. I can do this for you might be a, a little bit, you know, uh, issue. So I said, okay, why not? Why not go and learn how to teach? Mm. Like, well, it's one thing for you to know how to do something. It's the other thing for you to know how you can also pass that knowledge to someone else. So wow. I have to go through a school again on how you can tutor a person, how you can wow. teach someone, how you can speak, public speaking, all those processes mm -hmm. again. I see why I went back to school again. So wow. just to do all that, I have to go. Now, the whole idea for me now is this. I know I have skills. I have the skills right now to render services. But I also understand that because people don't know me, and for me to just go in and just start saying, hello, you want me to design a site for you? Hello, you want me to do this for you? Hello, can I do a networking? Can I, can I work on your telecom? All that will be issued because of trust. They don't know me. Watch out for part two of my interview with the Ed Boy of Brecket family and the impact the ordinary president had on his progress. <laughs> 